Guys, today is a big day. Today, Thermaworks announced they are coming out with their new Thermapen one and I've got it right here. This is the one. This is the Mark IV I've been using for years. As you can see, they're very similar, but there are some differences and we will talk about that here in just a second. The way this video is gonna be structured, I'm gonna talk about what makes these so great. I'm also gonna talk about specifically what the differences are. So if you're gonna upgrade and you're curious about what the difference is between the Mark IV and the Thermapen one, I'm gonna talk about those specifically. And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you who I think should upgrade and maybe and maybe who shouldn't which is kind of interesting which reminds me uh full disclosure this video is not sponsored by thermworks in fact i didn't even know this was coming until it shipped thank you thermworks but i don't owe them a video they're not going to see this until you do i'm not on the hook for any of this they did give it to me though and i want to disclose that but like i said i'm not getting any money so this one is for the love of the game with that in mind if you are interested in more information and you use my affiliate links below i have an affiliate relationship with them like a lot of barbecue youtubers i'll get a little kickback on that and i would appreciate that um basically what makes these so great is uh, i mean like on paper there's really not much to them right you're like Okay, you open it up, you take the temp, and, and then you put it back. That simplicity, you just summed it up. Like, these things work so well, they're incredibly quick. So if you compare this tip to like a leave-in thermometer, which is a much slower thermometer that you would like leave in a brisket all day, you'll see the big difference here in size. And because it's so small, it's able to get super fast reads. So even this one, this is the old one actually, had two to three second read times. We'll talk about more, that more in a second. So just the fact that it's fast, it's it's incredibly accurate. They're so anal at Thermworks, which I'm glad. They do industrial instrumentation for food service, pharmaceutical companies and stuff like that. So they are out to the third decimal on this stuff. That's what they test these thermometers against. So when you get this thermometer in the mail, it comes with a little certificate of calibration that has your thermometer's uh, serial number, what the ambient temperatures were like, what date it was tested, what equipment they used. It's all laid out a lot of us are just like well if it's close enough it's close enough but for them close enough isn't close enough they were they're looking for perfection and they pass that on i think what grows on you is it's automatic like there are so many features packed into this as soon as you open it up it starts to register temperatures it's got a ambient light sensor so if it's dark out all of a sudden the backlight comes on and you don't even have to think about it it's always there it has an auto rotating screen so if you're gonna you know take a temperature of a piece of meat from a different angle it'll immediately immediately flip over and you can see exactly what your temperature is you know without having to cock your head it's got a sleep mode in it so if you set it down and you forget to close it, it instead of draining your battery it'll turn off but then all you have to do is pick it up and it pops back on because it has a motion sensor in it so it's very robust it gives you that ip rating of 67 ip rating is ingress protection so an ip rating of 67 is a very very high rating it means no dust can get in whatsoever and you could actually stick this in up to a meter like if you drop this in a bucket of water it would be fine for 30 minutes that's what it's rated for Probably the most underrated thing about it, which is you can't really put this on a spec sheet, is, is you take it out and you put it in your pocket. It slides right in. It slides right out like super, de super easy. Um, but then when you actually use it, it's not slippery. It's actually you can get a very good grip on it because it has this weather sealing gasketing material that makes it super easy to get a solid grip on it. The other thing is it's got a great warranty. It's got a very it's a very solid company behind it. If Tommy Boy has taught us anything that the guarantee is only as good as the name that's written on the box and in this case they are top of the line i remember long before whoa i'm tipping i remember long before baby back maniac before i ever thought about going on youtube for some reason i had it in my head that it closed it closes this way which is the opposite so i kept trying to close it that way and i don't think i'm the only one because they actually they actually have a like show you which way to close it and open it on the back of this but i bent it backwards and and i broke mine i called them i told them i'm stupid i accidentally broke mine and they replaced it they didn't chastise me which i felt like i probably deserved for being an idiot so i really appreciated that they kind of won me over before long i long before youtube just as just a regular customer because i feel like i can trust them when i make a recommendation to you guys and they do the right thing because it's the right thing thermworks does that now i had an opportunity a couple of years ago or 
it was before the pandemic at a product launch to go in and actually see. They invited a bunch of uh, influencers in to actually check out their building. What do you think? I like it, man. Yeah. I'm pumped. I'm pumped it's to cool. go in and see. Yeah. Yeah. This is not a fly by night company. They have an amazing, like amazing building. Their warehouse is enormous. It's the cleanest. You could eat off the floors. It reminds me of a big Ikea, only instead of Swedish meatballs, they have jelly bellies. Um, the world-class training center. So customer care, uh, the sales team, tech support, all have regular turns in here as we're introducing new products. Uh, or as issues arise, we, we handle the training in this, in this room. They have this really nice industrial kitchen where they do classes, had space to grow into knowing that eventually they were gonna need more space. And so they have like cubicles that are set up where they just don't need yet, but they plan to use them in the next 10 years or so. One of the things he said was, the, the owner said was, he wasn't planning on building this, this business up just to sell it off. Why do you care about that? Well, it's because if you're gonna buy something with a long warranty, it's super important that if you call in, they're gonna have people there to answer the, answer the phone, you know? So what's different about the new one versus the old one. Okay, so here's the thing. This, this is my old one. This is the Thermapen Mark IV. This is a no compromises thermometer. I, there's nothing about this that I've bought and thought, I wish this was different. I love this thing. It's perfect. Yet this is better in almost every way. Like, so when you compare these, it's a little bit like when I say this is fast, but this is faster. It's a little bit like saying, you know, like when an NFL running back breaks through and he gets caught from behind by a defensive back, like the running back is extremely fast and the, <laughs> and the D back that catches him is even faster. In their world, this guy's really fast and this guy's not as fast, but in real life, both of them are crazy fast. That's what we're up against here. So if it sounds like I'm talking about out of both sides of my mouth, when I say, man, this thing's faster, that's, that's what I'm talking about. But the main differences are this guy is more robust. Now, I don't see that when I, when I lift it up and, you know, kind of play with it. To me, it actually feels very similar quality. They did re, they did uh, rebuild it. I mean, this is not the same mold. I'll talk about that in a second. But um, Thermoworks actually put their money where their mouth is on this. So the old one has a two-year warranty. This one has a five-year warranty. So it's not just something that they're saying it's more robust and you should buy it because of that. They're saying it's more robust and we'll stand behind it because it's built better. Again, I, I don't immediately see with my eyeballs because I can't see inside of it, but if they're willing to stand behind it, I like that. So that is cool to me. Um, there is a difference in the screen. Um, the new one ha is white or gray instead of yellow. It's definitely easier to see. I don't know if I would upgrade because of that feature alone, but it's undeniably better, easier to see. In fact, when I was looking at them, I, I was standing in my kitchen. I was just kind of looking at them like this, and my wife just happened to walk by. She had no idea what I was doing, and she goes, oh, that one looks better, and she was talking about, she was talking about the new one. So it is more responsive when it comes to auto-rotating. Now, again, that auto-rotating difference is, I mean, we're talking a second, maybe a split second faster. It's not, it's not dramatic, but it is faster. Again, back to that running back analogy. Also, the ambient light sensor, sensor is more responsive on the new one. If you'd like turn the lights off completely, this new one's a little bit faster, but where I really notice it is in shadows, like this one is more sensitive. It comes on sooner. It's a more responsive backlight, but <laughs> again, it's not like this one had any problems. So, that's kind of where we're at. As far as the body themselves, the new one is slightly smaller, it's slightly heavier, and it's slightly molded differently around where your, your, your pink and your thumb hit. You probably wouldn't notice a difference if I didn't tell you about it, but it is different. So it's a completely new body. So going back to it being more robust, I believe they made something different here, even if I, I can't exactly see it. So. The most important thing though is the speed. Like I wanted to cook a steak and stick both probes in at the same time and show you which ones like were faster, but like getting both probes in the same spot in the steak, which I realize is changing temperatures and get all them on, therm on thermometer, on camera, that didn't work. So what I did instead was um, I brought in a doctor.
Okay guys, so this is the older one. This is the Mark IV. It's supposed to have a two to three second response time. And this is the one it's supposed to have a one second response time. It's really hard to measure that. All I can tell from, from using it is this definitely feels faster, but um, I wanted to do something to show you guys. So here we go. So what I did, was I actually slowed the footage down to 25% and that's when I started to see the difference. So within uh, one fifth of a second, because with, with camera stuff, I can actually slow things down. There's 30 frames a second in this video and the sixth frame, which is one fifth of a second, the new one had already responded. So, and there actually was a moment right after that where this one responded further down, but I think that had to do more with refresh rate. Um, but the rest of the way you could see this one was faster all the way to the end. Now, what that translates to in real life is this, there's an algorithm in my brain, right? I noticed this. So when I use my old Thermapen, I don't actually stick it in until I get a final temperature. I stick it in until I get enough information by how fast this thing is changing temperatures that I get an idea of where my thermometer is, if that makes sense. So that it takes about, I don't know, two seconds for me to go, okay, I know kind of where this is. I pull it out, I move on to the next thing or whatever. With this one, there's a, like a half a beat faster. Like you, it's not, it's, it's again, it's not like something where you go, holy crap, this is so much different because this is so freaking fast. This is the running back. This is the defensive back, right? Like, like, but you do have, you do have that moment where you're like, okay, I know where I'm at. And it just comes like, just have a beat faster. This guy, like this guy had his cup of coffee that day. So that is the main thing that you notice when you use it not dramatic well it's dramatic when you compare the two like in slow motion i guess but in real life again it's just a little bit faster it's just, it just feels just a little bit faster so um the other major major difference about these is the battery compartments so in the mark IV, the battery compartment comes off the back there are some problems with that it actually makes it a little bit harder to get the battery out and uh, a little harder to adjust your user settings so you're able to adjust some basic user settings on the from the menu buttons on the inside stuff like Fahrenheit versus Celsius. You can decide if you want to go out a decimal point or not. I, I mentioned this earlier, but you can set your timer on your sleep function, or you can set or lock your auto rotate. You do that from those buttons on the inside. And on this one, because the battery compartment is built into the back and pops off super easy, you're able to um, you're able to access all of that easier. And then you, again, you have this nice weather sealing that makes it again that goes back to that IP67 waterproof rating for 30 minutes. It's 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 all very well built. And I also like to say thank you to Thermoworks for using normal size screws. I don't know what it is about a lot of these thermometer companies where the user access ports have super super tiny screws that if you don't have you know, if you don't have glasses and tools to work on glasses for ants, <laughs> you, can't, you can't get into them. So these, these you can access with a regular screwdriver and I really appreciate that. So yeah, what it boils down to is a little better screen, a little better backlight, a little easier to see, a little more responsive when it comes to auto rotating, a little bit punchier when it comes to getting your final temperature. So again, this is the no compromise version. This is the, holy crap, this is the new hotness, to quote Will Smith. So that is a basic rundown comparison between these two. Now, what do I think as far as who should buy this? If you have the money and you do not, I'm gonna put this one aside. If you do not have a Thermapen, this is the bestest, baddest thermometer you'll ever get. It's a the best example, buy once, cry once, in my entire barbecue journey, this may be the best thing I've ever bought. <sighs> Maybe. It's up there. Um, and the thing I'm most happy with. If you don't have one and you can swing the price, which I'm actually not even sure what it is, because again, they didn't tell me. They sent me the thermometer and a brochure, so I don't even know what the price is going to be. Um, usually they're around $100. If you can swing this, save your nickels, ask for it for your birthday money, do your, you know, take out the trash, get your allowance, save up, get this. You will not regret it. If you absolutely can't swing it, I totally get it. I'll put another thermometer that I'm familiar with. It costs about $30. It's great. It'll get the job done. It's not the same as this, but um, if you can swing it, you do yourself a favor and get it. Now, if you already have the Mark IV, 
this thing's like 15 minutes old, right? There's n this is the bestest, baddest thing 15 minutes ago and nothing about, to quote my friend Peter Gregg, who always talks about this, when new cameras are released, he's a photography YouTuber, just because the new one came out, it doesn't mean the old one stopped working. This was the best, best, baddest, most amazing thermometer on the planet 15 minutes ago and nothing about that has changed. So if you're looking for an excuse, I would love to sit here and tell you, please use my affiliate links and buy yourself a new one, you need it. Well, the grown up in me can't tell you that. I'm sorry, I want to, but this is just, so, where am I? This is just so good. And, and, and there's, again, nothing about this is worse because this came out. If you're happy with this, if you have other things you wanna spend your money on, you're not, gonna, you're not gonna notice a big, you're not gonna miss this. With that said, evil horns. <laughs> Me, I would've bought it. I mean, that, like, eventually I would've found an excuse. I might've, I might've lost this or thrown it out a window, going down the road, you know. <laughs> um, this is just better, faster, everything about it. Everything I love about this is better in this. So um, if you find this useful, please use my links below. Let me know below if you think you're gonna upgrade or not. And I love you guys. Thanks for watching this far. We will see you in the next one.